Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about a topic that many men are curious about, girth size. How does your girth size compare to others? And what are some of the myths and misconceptions that surround this topic? In this video, I'm going to debunk some of the most common myths and misconceptions about girth size and provide you with reliable sources of information. So, let's get started. Myth Pound 1, Girth Size is Determined by Shoe Size, Hand Size or Height. This is one of the oldest and most persistent myths about girth size. The idea that you can tell how big a man's penis is by looking at his shoe size, hand size or height has been around for centuries, but there is no scientific evidence to support it. In fact, several studies have found no correlation between these body measurements and girth size. For example, a 2002 study by Gerald Bain of the University of Toronto measured the penises and feet of 63 men and found no relationship between them. Similarly, a 2015 study by Richard Lynn of Ulster University measured the penises and hands of 104 men and found no correlation between them. Therefore, you cannot judge a man's girth size by his shoe size, hand size or height. Myth Pound 2, Girth Size Varies Significantly Across Different Races or Ethnicities Another common myth about girth size is that it varies significantly across different races or ethnicities. This myth is often fueled by stereotypes and prejudices that associate certain racial or ethnic groups with larger or smaller penises. However, there is no conclusive evidence to support this myth either. While some studies have reported differences in average girth size among different populations, these differences are usually small and not statistically significant. Moreover, these studies often have methodological flaws, such as small sample sizes, self-reported measurements or selection bias. For example, a 2014 study by David Veal of King's College London analyzed data from 20 studies involving 15. 521 men from various countries and found that the average girth size was 11.66 cm 4.59 inches when erect and 9.31 cm 3.66 inches when flaccid. The study also found that there was no significant difference in girth size among men from different continents or regions. Therefore, you cannot assume that a man's girth size is determined by his race or ethnicity. Myth Pound 3, Girth Size Affects Fertility or Health Another common myth about girth size is that it affects fertility or health. Some people believe that having a larger or smaller girth size can influence a man's ability to father children or his risk of developing certain diseases. However, this myth is also unfounded. There is no evidence that girth size has any impact on fertility or health. In fact, girth size has nothing to do with sperm quality or quantity, which are the main factors that determine fertility. Likewise, girth size has nothing to do with prostate cancer, erectile dysfunction, or sexually transmitted infections, which are some of the most common health issues that affect men's sexual health. Therefore, you cannot infer anything about a man's fertility or health from his girth size. So, these are some of the myths and misconceptions that I wanted to debunk today. I hope you learned something new and useful from this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one. And if you have any questions or comments about this topic, feel free to leave them below. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.